many ways to tell the history of the world. What makes a concise history of the world distinctive is its social and cultural focus, a new perspective in a brief world history. It tells the story of humans as producers and reproducers, understanding these in a social and cultural as well as a material sense. Thus, along with foragers, farmers, and factory workers, the book also talks about shamans, scribes, and secretaries. Social and cultural history are among the most important new approaches in history over the last half century. Through them, history has broadened beyond primarily the story of politics and great men to include a huge variety of topics. Through them, the voices of ordinary men and women, and not simply members of the elite, are now part of the history we know. The book provides a global social and cultural history, examining commonalities and generalizations, but also diversities and counterexamples. You might think of this in musical terms as theme and variations, and the book does discuss music. Certain themes emerge throughout the book because these are institutions men and women created or activities they engaged in that occur widely across time and space. These include the creation of social and gender hierarchies, families and lineages, food preparation, production and consumption, labor, slavery, uh, organized violence, so good and bad, uh, migration. Along with themes that are common throughout the book, each of the book's five chapters also explores a particular theme that is important in that era like the rise of cities or the creation of global trading networks. These are themes that are common throughout all world histories, uh, but their social and cultural aspects have sometimes been ignored or neglected. The book also pays attention to the sources that we use to learn about history and how people have made meaning from these, so that along with finding out what happened, you'll also find out about how we learn about what happens and how historians have developed their understandings of past from particular kinds of sources. The Concise History of the World, despite its title, also takes a more expansive view of time than is frequently common in world histories. It examines all of human history, not simply that since the development of writing. So it does not start with written records, but with human evolution and in fact with chimpanzees, asking questions like, did chimpanzees have culture? The book thus starts with the Paleolithic and the Neolithic, uh, looking at there at the foraging and farming families of those eras from long ago, and examining the social, cultural, and other kinds of effects of plant and animal domestication. As it moves into the ancient period, it examines the ever more complex social and economic structures that were created, like hereditary dynasties, patriarchal families, organized religion worshipped in human-built structures instead of in nature, uh, and more complex systems of social hierarchy. It examines mercantile and religious networks, including the spread of Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam that connected networks that connected growing cities and glittering courts, where rulers and their entourages created new structures of authority and courtly cultures that provided new patterns of behavior for men and women. Wealth and power led people to move and migrate, first regionally and then after Columbus more broadly and globally. And as the book moves into the modern centuries, it examines the consequences of these exchanges, material consequences, disease such as disease, and cultural and social consequences as well. Religion, too, migrated and morphed, and new cultural institutions were created where men, and sometimes a few women, engaged in conversation, shared ideas, and consumed the new exotic goods. The exchange of peoples and ideas and goods around the world also hardened and created more elaborate social distinctions, all of which the concise history of the world examines. The final chapter examines the great transformations of the modern period and the social and cultural consequences of these, both positive and negative, war, genocide, brutality, but also calls for greater social equality and social justice. 
as it looks at the very recent past. It examines the tremendous impact on techno of technology, which has both extended and extinguished human life at levels unimaginable in earlier centuries, uh, but also allowed for greater connections on a global scale. Thus, with this concise history of the world, I hope somewhat paradoxically to widen and lengthen your view of the human past and make it a more complicated and thus more interesting story.